Hello, everybody. I'm going to do wild card Saturday only today. Uh, tomorrow, I'll have wild card Sunday. All right. First matchup that I'm going to do is the Bengals versus the Texans. I got Andy Dalton versus Yates. I'm going to take Dalton as your quarterback. He's, you know, he's been proving it all year long. He's got more experience. Granted, it's only like, what, three games? But, hey, three games is three games. Defense versus defense in this Bengals versus Texans matchup. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to go with, you know, the Bengals defense. They are in that AFC conference. Well, excuse me. They're both in the AFC conference, but they're in that conference. They're in the subdivision where they have to face the Ravens and the Steelers. To compete with that, they need a solid defense. I'm going to pick the Bengals defense. Offense versus offense. I would go with the Texans on this one on offense. You know what? I'm still going to go with the Texans because they got Arian Foster. They got Andre Johnson. They got all those heavy hitters on that side. Overall, who I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for the Bengals just because they have TJ Yates who is coming in third string instead of second string. Andy Dalton is the first string quarterback, and he's been lighting it up. He's the runner-up, in my opinion, for the rookie of the year. All right, now we're going to move on to the second game for tomorrow's game. It's Detroit versus the Saints. Um, okay, we're going with Stafford versus Breeze. Both broke 5,000 yards. Breeze, on the other hand, has more tools, a better offensive coach who happens to be their head coach. Sean Payton is a mastermind of this Saints offense. I don't I don't see anybody beating the Saints this go around in the in the playoffs. Uh Breeze is definitely my choice between quarterback versus quarterback. Defense versus defense, definitely gonna pick Detroit. Detroit has and Dominic and Sue, who is quote unquote the dirtiest player. He plays hard. I don't think he's a dirty player. But you know, you, you go from ESPN to ES to to Fox Sports Net to Comcast Sports Net, they're all gonna say that he is he's a dirty player. I don't think he's a dirty player. He plays hard. He's that old school football, which I like. Offense versus offense. Draw. I'm not I can't pick an offense. With Stafford putting up the numbers that he did last week against Green Bay. Granted they lost. Those are huge numbers against Green Bay. Huge numbers. Granted, they weren't playing against uh, Aaron Rodgers. You're still playing against Green Bay's defense, which shows a lot about Green Bay's defense. But you know what? I'll get into that next week. Overall, who I'm going to pick? Drew Brees and the Saints. I'm going to say this now. I've been saying this since last week. I think Drew Brees and the Saints and his and his crew are just going to dominate. And they're going to get their second ring. I think they're going to get their second ring. If they pass the Lions in... Even if it's a close game, I still think Drew Brees is going to surpass every record this year. He's got the highest uh, average on passes. You know, Drew Brees is my fantasy QB. I'm going to stick with my fantasy QB and his team. I'm going with the Saints in this game. You know, it'll be a close game. Uh, for the Niners' sake, you, you better hope the Lions do some damage because... If they don't win, it's looking tough for the Niners and the Saints if the Saints do win this week. All right, everybody, that's my short video for this week. Tomorrow, I'll be going over the next two games, which happens to be the Steelers and Denver. And then it is Atlanta Falcons and New York. I'll be doing that tomorrow as soon as these games for Sat or the Saturday day Saturday games are over. I'll be doing those predictions. I'll do a recap of Saturday's games, and then I'll do the prediction of Sunday's games tomorrow as soon as the Saturday games are over. All right, thank you very much, everybody. I'd like to thank all my viewers. And you know what? Hey, I want to shout out to all my people who watch my UFC video on prediction. Thank you for the 112 views that I got. I just checked it as of today. Granted, you might not have seen it before, the fight, but you know what? I want to say thank you to everybody. I, I've only been doing this for what, two weeks, two, three weeks, and I want to say thank you very much to everybody that's been watching my videos. You know, keep it coming. You know what? Hey, you know what? Tell you what. If you watch my video, comment. Tell me who you think is going to win these Saturday games, and tell me who you think is going to win the Super Bowl overall as a picture. All right. Thank you very much, guys. You know, it's Friday. Hope you guys just got paid and have a fun night tonight. Be safe. Call a designated driver. Call a cab. 
do whatever it takes. Don't get a DUI. That's one thing you don't want to do. All right, have a fun and safe one, guys.